Hello everyone, we're back with the Gonio Ready at the 2023 World Glaucoma Congress in Rome, Italy. It's been less than a year since the introduction of this gonioscopy device. And from the folks at Oculus to world-renowned experts like Dr. Ike Ahmed, we've been interviewing people to find out just what the Gonio Ready is and the novel capabilities it offers glaucoma surgeons. Today, we're here with Dr. Conrad Schaga to talk about the Gonio Ready and how it is perfect for young surgeons gaining confidence with notoriously tricky mixed procedures. So thanks for joining us, Dr. Shargan. My pleasure, my pleasure. So you were one of the first people to get your hands on, or actually I should say maybe no hands, on the Gonio Ready. So initially, what were your first impressions? You know, every time that you have a new device or they ask you to try something, you are concerned about, even if you had experience, you are concerned about, okay, how is this gonna go? It was a shocking at the beginning until we set everything, until we feel comfortable, but it was great. The feeling was great. What really shocked you in the beginning, you know, just when you first started using it? I am used to work with one lens in one hand, and that lens do the support of the eye, pushing the eye, sometimes push too much. That is one of the main inconvenience, and doing the surgery with the other hand. But when I'm doing the surgery with the other hand, sometimes I've, I need an additional step, mm. and that additional step means I have to undo everything again, so do that additional step and go back with my lens and all the surgical technique. With this one, a surgeon have another hand. You know, it's like you work with the right one, but the left one, it's not gonna be useless, only supporting the lens. It's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be doing something else. You know, your hospital, King Khaled Eye Specialist Hospital, Correct. is a very famous teaching hospital. And you yourself lead a group of young glaucoma surgeons. So what makes MIGS in particular tricky for a new surgeon? What it makes the life easy on this gonio ready is that you are training them on seeing how the things should be seen. The clarity, the right pressure. So if they learn how you must see it, it's gonna be even easier to go to another technique like using a handheld. As a teacher, I'm also looking from an auxiliary view, and I have almost the same view that they have. So it's easier for me to direct them how they should move the, the other hand, put the eye in position. It's a lot, a lot easier. If you start surgeons, young surgeons, or maybe less experienced surgeons, or surgeons that are maybe new to MIGS with the GONI already, you know, what does that do for them in the future? There are many different mix. Some of these mix are easier, some other needs more skills, but all of them has one thing in common. And the thing in common is that they need a perfect view of the angle. This is gonna make the road a lot, a lot easier for all the mix, especially for the mix that are more, requires more skillful for the new uh, less experienced surgeons. Yes. Now, I know that Oculus also asked you for some feedback from some of your younger surgeons. So what kind of feedback were they giving you and you know, what were you relaying to Oculus? Well, one of the first things that they realize is that they are not worried about the compression that they were doing with the previous lens. So they don't have folds. They don't have a corneal opacity. The, the cornea is always keeping in the same shape. That is something that is due to the pressure of the gone already. Young surgeons are gonna get used to a perfect view, and then they know what kind of view they have to look for it. The only thing I was a little bit concerned, but then I, when you get familiar with it, is precisely that silicon bar that makes, makes the, the pressure, it's precisely the right pressure over the eye. So I believe that those are the two key points, clarity of the, of the optics and the right pressure and the possibility of uh, using the second hand as the best thing that this device has. And in the long term, how does the Goni already benefit younger surgeons as they continue in their careers? Well, well the issue here is that probably they're going to get too used to this comfortable way and the easy way. And I don't know if they are going to be able to do it in the other way. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned before that it frees up both hands and that allows for a lot of you know, new ground, new techniques, new things. So what are some of these new techniques that you're sharing with or learning with or experiencing with some of the younger surgeons that you're working with? So you have mix that, for example, is just an injection, like a eye stance, or like a hook doll, double ply, that is just a movement. But depending on what kind of anesthesia you're using, for example, if the patient is using local anesthesia, he can move the eye a lot. 
So the second hand can be used just to immobilize the eyes, to keep it in the one position. Even if the patient understands the language and it's a cooperative one, you sometimes need to assure that position. Most of my patients are under local anesthesia or general anesthesia. So even if you tilt the head and you, uh, you tilt the microscope in the right angle, you need that small amount of movement of the eye that you can now do it without any pressure over the eye. That is an amazing thing when you are explaining what they have to do. More elaborate mix, like for example, ABIC or GAT techniques, sometimes needs second hand to inject the viscoelastic. So you are right there and you have the, the possibility of use it. Now, I want to talk about volume. At your hospital, like King College Eye Specialist Hospital, you have a high volume of patients. How does the Goni already help with this high volume of patients? If we are thinking about the circuit of a fast or large volume surgery, patients come from one place, a microscope could be set in, it will not interfere with the cataract surgery at all. And then you can right put it in, do the angular surgery, patient leave in the other side and you just replace one gonio lens by the other gonio lens. So I think that in that way they will save a lot of time. So I want to move now to angle closure because I think in Saudi Arabia you have quite a few angle closure patients. Just with angle closure and related procedures, how is the gonio already good for those? Angle closure are not going to be the right surgeries for mix. Okay. You need that open angle, could be a primary or secondary, but there are some angle closer that are appositional. It means when the lens is pushing everything forward, the lens, get, the iris gets in, co in contact with the cornea. That, that kind of eyes could be suitable for angular surgery. In that case, uh, gonio ready will work as in other, any other case. Also can be used for examination because it can be rotated in different area. So you can rotate and get in 180 degree with the gonio ready as far as explore the angle in which area you want to work. If it's open in one area, you probably can do the surgery there. So Dr. Shago, thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Really valuable insights for us. Thank you. Well, thanks again to Dr. Shago. From what he said, it looks like the Goni Already is poised to have a dramatic impact, not only on younger surgeons, but surgeons of all stripes around the world looking to step up their mix game. And for those of you out there watching, be sure to head on over to the Oculus website or get in touch with the company today for more info on the Gonio Ready in your area.